Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're gonna do another Try Hack Me room called Relevant. And this is an actual pen testing challenge. So I'm super excited to be here with you guys. If you are returning, thank you. If you're new, welcome. Please like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to hit the bell and get all those little bells and whistles and uh, get into the, the algorithm of YouTube. So what we're gonna be doing here today is jumping into this machine, jumping into this room, and I already started it up. I, I did an Nmap scan just to save some time, and then you know we could go through through everything. So let me go ahead and open that up now. So our IP address is at 10.10.198.224 or 244, sorry. So pretty much what is this about? Before we actually get in, the scope of work is pretty much acting as a black black box pen tester or black black box pen test engagement and we we are the pen testers that's what i meant to say so pretty much we have to get the user.txt and the root.txt and pretty much we have to act as a you know pen tester like i said root the box only the ip address that's here is in scope so it's pretty much like a real assessment you give you're given a scope of work and you go ahead and do your your work right so let's go ahead and come back here. Let's go ahead and cat relevant.txt. So this is my end map results. So we have port 80 open, 135, 139, 445, 3389. If we come down here a little bit more, we have 49663, which is another web server that's running on IIS v10, which is version 10, and then 67, 69, etc. So if we keep coming down, we can see this, the script results, SMB2 security mode 311, message signing enabled but not required, and so on and so forth, okay? So we're probably running 2016, I would assume, 2016 server, that's what it's shown here. But we'll check that later once we get on the box, we can always check that, all right? so. Let's go ahead and try to access the IP address at port. Let's just do this. Okay, that's working. So now let's go ahead and use the port number that we have down here. 6949663. All right, so we can see that it's running both. All right, that's fair enough. So what we can do Let's open up another, another tab. So what, what I wanna do is, let's go ahead and CD to try Hack Me Relevant. So what I wanna do, since we know it's running web server, we can probably try to run GoBuster. And with GoBuster, we can see if we can find anything, right? We can find any hidden directories, files, or anything like that. So let's just start, we can start that up. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, so this is, uh, let's go ahead and I think we have to change this IP address. Okay, let's go ahead and, whoops, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. let's go ahead and get the IP address. And let's paste this IP address and let that go on its merry way. So we can name this, let's rename this GoBuster. Okay, and then let's open up a new tab. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, let's just go ahead and CD. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we can go back to the Nmap tab, and we know that SMB is running. So what we can try to do is use SMB client against that machine to see if there's any shares or any files or folders that we can get to that sound and look interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So now let's just go ahead and do SMB client. Uh, before we go there, let's do dash L and let's see. All right, so we have this NT4 workstation share. So now what we can do is actually run to see what's inside there. All right, 
So let's do SMB client. And then let's see if there's anything uh, cool in here. Let's do an LS. Okay, there's this passwords.txt. That looks pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and get passwords.txt and we can get that locally to our machine so we can analyze and see what's inside. All right, so here we can rename this to SMB, okay? So now let's just open up a new tab, make this bigger and then CD, uh, try Hackney relevant and let's do an LS, okay, cool. So we're golden. So now what we're gonna do is try to, let's go ahead and cat the password. Let's see what's inside. Okay, so we have this base64 encoded. So what we're gonna do is we can go out to the internet. Let's just go to CyberChef. Uh, CyberChef. And let's go ahead and come back here. Let's go ahead and just take this. Let's just take this and throw it in CyberChef and base64. And let's go base64. Okay, come here. Uh, did I do something wrong? Base64, oh, from base64. Uh, from, hold on. I always get these bloody things mixed up. Let's go ahead and delete this. Base64. From base 64, there we go. All right, so, so we have this, so we have a Bob, so it looks like a Bob and a Bill. All right, so let's go ahead and copy this. Let's bring this up here. All right, so I'm gonna put user info, and it looks like something like this. Okay, so Bob's password is right here. And then Bill's password is here. Okay, cool deal. So now we got that information, so we should be good. All right, so now, let's go ahead and clear that. Now what we can try to do is, let me see something really quick. Back here, let's do an LS. So now what we have to do is come back to our end map. And if we're familiar with, we know this is running a web server, right? So it's running IIS. So IIS usually runs ASPX, right? So let's go ahead and go out to the internet and we can just go to Google and just put like ASPX reverse shell. Okay, and right here is a reverse shell. Perfect, let's go ahead and click on this. And let's go ahead and just do raw. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna do a control A, control C, and I'm just gonna go ahead and create a, I'm gonna do nano shell, all right, perfect. And then save that, yes, boom, ls. So now I have this shell.aspx file on my server. So now what we're gonna do is we have to make some modifications to that. So ultimately we have to get this onto our server and then we can do like a netcat listener to execute, excuse me, to listen on our Kali box to phone home, right? So what we're gonna do is just that. So now let's go back to our SMB and let's do PWD and let's copy this really quick, okay? So let me just go, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's go, why is my thing getting locked up? All right, so now what I wanna do is come back here and I wanna go ahead and uh, doo -doo -doo. paste. And then let me see what's, if there's anything in here. See if we can see that passwords. Well, let's just go to passwords.txt. Okay, so we can see that. Okay, perfect. So we're able to see. So now what we have to do is just make that file, that shell, we can upload that to the server, we can run that, 
and then we can call back to a netcat listener locally so i think we are we're on to something so let's come back here let's do an ls so i want to do an if config I'll do my funny uh my funny lol cat so this is my ip address locally and this is the try hack me ip address that it has to phone back home to all right so what i want to do is do a nano shell and then i'm going to make some changes so the string host has to be the the tunnel zero ip and then we can make the the port anything we want so I want to leave it one, two, three, four. That's perfectly fine for me. If you want to change it, you can change it. So I'm going to do a control X. Yes, I want to save it. And now what I want to do is cat shell and make sure it's there. Let's go all the way up, make sure my, uh, my config state. Okay, perfect, this is all good. So now what I want to do is I want to come here and I want to put shell.aspx, and now I do an ls. Now we have this shell.aspx on our aspx, yep, on our server. So now what we can do is run a netcat. So I want to actually change this to netcat. Okay. So come on. Happen. All right. So what I'm going to do is run netcat and C, and perfect. It's on one, two, three, four already. All right. So now the next thing we have to do is run that on the server. So now let's come back here, and instead of passwords.txt, we're going to run shell.aspx. Okay. Now, if we come back here, boom, we got a shell, all right? So now what we have to do is we are on here, so we can do who am I? We are IIS uh, at pool, okay? So the first thing first, we have to get the user flag. So let's go ahead and just get back to the root. We can do a DIR, uh, users, so probably users, DIR, um, Bob. Remember, because Bob was a user from the, the passwords that we found. So let's cd to Bob. DIR. cd to desktop. DIR. And then user.txt. That looks pretty promising. So let's type user.txt. Boom, that's flag number one. So let's take this flag. Copy this, and then come here, submit. Bada bing, woohoo, we got one. Now we just have to go get the next one. All right, cool. So let's come back here. So what we can do now, since we already have the user flag, we have to see, okay, what privileges are used. So we can do who am I? Who am I? Priv. All right, so these are the privileged names. This is the privileges information. So uh, the state is disabled, disabled, enabled, bypass, traversal, checking, impersonated client after authentication. This is a vulnerability right here. So impersonate privileges. So what we can do is look for a privilege escalation technique. So let's go ahead and go out. I, let's just go to Google and let's do Let's just do this. Uh, let's copy this and just paste it in, whoops, exploit GitHub. Uh, let's see, abusing impersonation privileges, that's pretty much what we're doing. And let's go ahead and, I, I guess I used this before. So this is, I believe, uh, the mayor, Joe. Awesome, Joe. So we can use the print spoofer.exe. Let's go ahead and download this bad boy. Okay. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and open this. Well, we, we can just keep that for a second. 
So if we come back down here, this is how we run it, but we have to get it onto the server first. So now we have it locally. So let me open up another tab. Okay, so let's go ahead and what we have to do is do an LS. I believe that is, let's just go to relevant. So I want to CP, there we go. I believe it, I don't think it's in, let me, let me say something. Where did it actually download? Uh, do, do, do. So root downloads, okay. So what I want to do is, let's do this. Root dash download slash downloads, boom. Our file is here, it's in our current directory. So, whoops, what did I do? Okay, so we have this here now. So what we have to do now is just put this on the server. So same thing, let's put um, copy, not SMB, paste this, ls so it's here now now all we have to do is go back onto the server which is on on that cat and find out where that is so if normally uh, in iis it's like in the um in the init pub inet pub www root so what we're going to do is try to navigate to there and then go from there all right so let's go ahead and cd and then we're going to see a cd uh, let's do EIR CD to INET pub. Oh, I guess uh, INET pub. Whoops, I don't want too much. So we're going to do DIR here and www root. So let's CD to www root EIR. And then we have our NT directory here. Let's go ahead and copy this CD to and then do a DIR. And here goes all of our file. Boom. Let's go back to Joe's thing. Let's copy this, paste it. Oops, what happened? All right, so I guess I'm just gonna copy it like this. Right click, paste, boom. Bada bing, we are good. Who am I? King Kong, we did it. So now all we have to do is get the root flag. So what we can do is, CD there, and then do a DIR, a CD to users, CD to administrator, I can spell, DIR, CD to desktop, DIR, and root.txt, T-Y-P-E. Boom, we did it folks. We rooted relevant. So let's go ahead and copy this. And let's go ahead and throw this in here, paste. And congratulations, we did it. We did it, folks. This was a fun box. So this is actually pretty real because if you find a vulnerability like this in an environment, this is how you can pretty much abuse those privileges, you know, utilize these kinds of techniques. So this is really good. Kudos to Joe. I think Joe was the creator of this room. Thank you so much, Joe. Thank you, Try Hack Me. And again, please like, subscribe, share. And if you have any questions about this video or any techniques that I used, or if you're just having problems in general, just hit me up. I'll look forward to hearing from you and have an awesome day, folks.